I'm Jean Nolte, editor at Fonts and Porter. And I'm Colleen Tauke, I'm the sewing specialist at Fonts and Porter. In this tutorial, we're gonna show you how to create the Hocus Pocus table runner. For the pattern for this table runner, visit our website. This is a quilt as you go project and it's one of the things we get lots of questions about. So I think this would be a great beginner mm -hmm. project. It would. It uses two and a half inch strips. We have Halloween prints for ours, but you could do it with anything that would match you, you know, you know, your home. Mm -hmm. um, so this is a quick process for a holiday kind of thing. So for, for ho yes, you could have one for every holiday because it exactly. wouldn't take very long. All right, I'm gonna move those out of the way. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is get your backing. Mm -hmm. And your batting. Exactly. Your backing and batting fabric are need to be set up. So because you're going to build everything on top of this. Pretend like it's a tabletop. So you're going to need to use some spray based or whatever your favorite product is to adhere your batting to your backing fabric so it stays in place. Now nice and stable. And you also notice that we have some lines on the um, batting. So what we did is took um, a chalk liner and or whatever your favorite marking tool so you can see it and a long ruler what i have done is so we, i have we did fold this right right we found the center of, of the batting and we marked down the center there and then we found the other center the long fold. direction so we fold would it. fold it and find it you can put a way. pin in or you can measure just mm -hmm. follow the directions in the pattern there are some great um, diagrams in there for you Quilters are visual learners, so look at our diagrams. Now that we have these centers and this crosshair, what we need is some guidelines in the outer, we're gonna call the out, outer edges of our, of our road. So we've come from the center, I believe on the pattern it says seven and a half inches. So we have parallel lines running the long way of our batting and backing. Now, those strips, we're gonna cut an assortment. We used a, I think we used a whole um, line from this Hocus mm -hmm. Pocus fabrics. And what we're going to do is we're going to line up the first two strips along that short blue line that was down the center. And one goes right side up. The second one faces it so it's good. right side down. Exactly. So that is the very beginnings of our Quilt As You Go table runner. Okay. Now you're ready to sew. Now you think about it. This is a lot. So we're going to kind of roll this up and get it out of our way so that we can work. Yeah. And be, um, just to help hold things in place, sometimes if you're a beginner, you want a few pins, you don't want to go out there flying blind. No. You set up your sewing machine with the walking foot because you're going to be going through layers. And okay, you can so. actually roll up both sides is what I did when I was in the workroom. Those are just a little easier to handle. Yeah, okay. it's just kind of like a scroll. So you're going to sew on the side where the blue line is. Yep. I'm going to create a quarter inch seam allowance along this part of that long line. So we're gonna come in here and we're going to just stitch a nice clean quarter inch seam. And that walking foot keeps everything together so one doesn't bunch up. Right, we don't want anything to shift so we're just gonna easily do a quarter inch seam all the way along. And since we're going through all the layers, that's our first quilt line, you'll see as we we get to the other side and we get to the next sample here. We don't want it to shift. Mm -hmm. And we're going to be building our table runner kind of like ladder rungs mm -hmm. all the way along. So you're going to do uh, one side shifted. and then the other. Yep. That did shift us a little bit. Do as I say, not as I do mm -hmm. sometimes. You can learn all the little tricks from but us. But that's okay. Yeah, there's a little wiggle room in there. So we're going to get to the all other right. end. We're going to cut so thread. Get that. And okay. we take it out. All right, so I'll show there you it what is. to do. So, so you flip that open. Now your first that. two bars are in place. Now and you, if you look back here, you'll see, and we used red thread so you can really see it. That's also your first quilting line mm -hmm. on your back. So you'll okay. want to use matching thread. Now I'm going to just give that a quick little press. You don't. You want to make sure you get your your strips opened up all the way. You don't want to leave what we call a false ditch down in there because then your strips will become a little narrow, and they won't stay nice and parallel as you proceed down the table runner. Okay, so, so that's what the go. beginning looks like. So then we would just take another strip. Yep. Yep. Place it. I'll show you. Again. Right place sides it right together. sides together. Take it under the machine and do that quarter inch seam exactly the same as you did the first. Stitch along there. Stitch and flip. And flip. All right, now I'm gonna move this one out of the way because you have one, one that's farther is along. is a little further along. 
wanted to show you what the bars are going to start to look like. I finished out all the way to one end, and the, you cut the number of bars in this pattern for it to, to complete your top. Okay, so then you do the same thing yep, on the, down on the other direction. To the other end. Now you stayed between these lines for a reason because that's where the border goes. If you notice, there's a black print with words around the outside. Follow the directions for cutting and creating your border um, pieces that the shape you, or the lengths you need. And then you would go in. It's basically the same thing. Let's yep. show, first of all, Oh, you can see all the you quilting lines on the back. You can see the quilting lines on the back. And I used orange thread. You could go ahead and you use could. an orange thread because Halloween, why That'd not? That would be great. Okay, so now you're ready to put your border on and you're going to do the same thing. Same method, right side together. Now you would have gone in here and cleaned up the edge. You wouldn't leave the selvage on there. But we're just talking about this and you, using strips here. For this, you'll have to probably join more than one. Nope. Oh, it's long enough? One yeah. does it. One strip is long enough. That's so you would great. stitch, again, quarter inch seam, just like you've been doing throughout. Press it open, create like So this. then you're going to do the same thing on this side. Mm -hmm. And then and you just have those short little pieces on the, the ends. the short ones on the ends, same thing. Trim around the outside edge and apply your binding like you do on every other quilt. Thanks for joining us today. To see more videos, visit our website.